What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has started rolling out a brand new update for the Galaxy S24 series. I got the S24 Ultra here. This is of course the security patch for May 2025 and it looks like the size is slightly bigger and this might be able to fix the battery performance issue that we had after One UI 7.0 upgrade. In this video, I'm gonna talk about this update and I'll also tell you about the S Pen that I broke a few uh, weeks ago. I've already replaced it on the Galaxy S25 Ultra. I'll tell you the exact price of the S Pen for the Galaxy S25 Ultra. So keep watching the video. Now let's go ahead. This is the Galaxy S24 Ultra I've got here. Let me tap on the settings, software update, tap on download and install. As you can see, the size is 502.57 MB and the security patch level is for May 2025. Version number ends with BYE3 and of course Android version 15 and One UI version 7. In the change log, we do not have anything specifically mentioned here, but I see a lot of you guys complaining about the battery performance on the Galaxy S24 series. Even on the S25 series, uh, many of you guys have been saying that the battery has uh, deteriorated. And I think it's the same with most of the other devices, including the S23 series. Now with the May security patch, we might get some improvements here. Like you can see the size here, which is slightly bigger than usual. And in the change log, we have got these standard points mentioned about the security, stability improvements, etc. Nothing specifically mentioned about the battery performance improvement or any other changes. Let's go ahead and update the device. I'll open the update details here. Let me resume the download. Now there is no seamless updates on the Galaxy S24 series. So we will have to download this and install it. I will uh, do that and come back to you guys in a bit. Let's do our usual tests. Uh, let's open a few applications and let's see how the phone is performing. It's downloaded. I'll tap on install now and come back to you guys in a bit. All right, now the phone has been updated. Let's open a few applications. Let's check the animations and let's see if there is any stutters or lags here. Let's start with the camera application. Gallery. Messages. Phone dialer. Galaxy Store, Volvo's Wallpaper, My Files, Calculator. Let me go to the reasons now. I didn't see any stutters there. You can see it's quite smooth. Let me close all. Let's check the notification and quick panel here. Looks perfect. No issues whatsoever here. So after One UI 7, I think there has not been any stutter or lags on the phone, which is something which I noticed. Now let me go to these settings here. Let's check if we have got any latest Google Play system update. I will tap on security and uh, privacy. Updates. So far we have received only February Google Play system update. Let's check if we have got anything new here. Yes, we do have a major update here for Google Play system, which is 73 MB. Let's go ahead and download and install it. I will again have to restart the device. Let's see for which month we have got the Google Play system update. All right, now the phone has been restarted. Let's unlock it and let's check what is the latest Google Play system update we now have on the S24 series. Let me go to the settings here. Of course, there will be some stutter when we restart the phone. Let's go to settings, tap on security and privacy, tap on updates. Okay, now we have got the Google Play system update for April 2025, which is for the last month. And this will be the latest update for the Samsung devices. We will be getting the May update probably in the month of June. So there will be at least one month gap uh, when it comes to Samsung Galaxy phones. But on the Pixel phones, I usually get the Google Play system update every month. Anyway, so uh, this is the latest update that we have. You can go ahead and update your device. You can update your Google Play system as well. Let me tap on this again and see if there is anything more here. Now it says the device is up to date. 1st April 2025 is the latest Google Play system update we have for the Galaxy S24 series. Now it will be too early to talk about the battery performance on the device. I just installed the updates. So we will have to wait for a couple of days to check the battery performance and share the screen on time with you guys. So I will try to do that very soon. So stay tuned for that video and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to hit the like button as well. And yeah, the Volvo's wallpaper application. We are revising the yearly subscription fee very soon. If you're planning to buy an yearly subscription fee, this is the right time for you to buy it. I will be introducing a more affordable monthly subscription fee as well. In case if you want to go for a monthly subscription fee, you can do that as well. But yeah, the yearly, uh, the uh, lifetime subscription fee will be increased very, very soon. So in case if you're planning for that, go ahead and upgrade it as soon as possible. Now the Yes Pen. 
This is the S Pen which was broken some time ago. I have already discussed with you guys in my previous video. Uh, I did mention that once I get the new S Pen, I will let you know guys uh, the total cost for this. I just got the new one here. This is the Galaxy S25 Ultra that I've got here. And uh, this has got the new S Pen as you can see. It's the same color. And this costed me about 2500 INR, which was less than what I expected. Let me convert this into US dollars and tell you how much it is. Approximately uh, 29 and a half, almost 30 US dollars, I would say. That's the cost of a brand new S Pen for the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Now, initially, when I spoke to the uh, store guys, they said that, you know, uh, it is going to cost me more than 4000 rupees or maybe around uh, 50 to 60 US dollars. But then uh, I had to visit the service center to get this replaced. They charged me just about uh, 2,500 Indian rupees, which is about 30 US dollars. And they also mentioned that there are a lot of people who buy these S Pens and sell it online for almost double the cost. So in case you're buying the S Pen, if, in case if you're replacing your S Pen for any reason, do not buy it online, directly visit the service center, get it replaced. The online cost is pretty high for the S Pen. That is something which I want to keep you guys informed. That's about it. That's all I want to share with you guys. I hope you have received the update for the Galaxy S24 series on the S25 series. We already got it some time back and I'm still waiting for the update on the S23 series. As soon as I get it, I will give you a heads up and I'll probably post a video about it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, subscribe, give this video a like and do not forget to download our wallpaper application Volvos. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.